All right, so I salt and peppered them. They're looking good. They can get brown, it's no big deal. Oh, hi everybody. I am trying my hand. Well, first of all, thank you for being here. Um, the end of last summer, I had tons of yellow squash. Tons. And then they got huge. So, I just ended up freezing them. Well, all I've been doing lately is just frying them up and putting Parmesan cheese on them or roasting them. And they're delicious. They're delicious. But, I kind of want to do something different. So, I'm going to try and do like a little casserole. And it'll have sour cream and stuff like that. Now, these were frozen. So, what I did... Because you can do this with hash browns too. When I thought about this and you saute them, your squash and that, I thought it was to get it brown or soft. Well, look how soft they are. No, it's to get the moisture out because in the sauce it'll just be water. So what I did, I'll show you in a second, is I put them in this bowl. And obviously not all the water is out of them. You can see it. I microwave them and look at all this water I got out of it. So that'll save me the step. So right now I'm just cooking these down to get the water out. Okay? And it'll probably be a while. So I'll bring you back when I get that done. I think this is my last package of onions. What I'm going to do also when these are cooking the water out, I'm going to put half of this in because these are frozen anyway so that'll soften these. Okay, so while that's cooking to get the water out, I figured I might as well make the sauce. I need something. Right, Maggie? So it's an egg. It's basically the only thing I'm going to measure. Pop that, girl. Go, 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 go. Beep, beep. Yes, I see that still, but I'm going to worry about it later. Stay. Some sour cream. Oh, need a spoon. Ah. sour cream this big because it's easier. Um, basically using what I see for the amount of squash I have. Come on. Easier if I saw what I was doing, hey? Okay. Not a whole lot. Could have used a smaller bowl, but it was dirty. So what I'm going to do is, because that's all the mild cheddar I have, and I got tons of mozzarella. Too much cheese is crazy. I don't know what you see, Megs. She just got her checkup. Everything is good with Megan. That's the sauce. All right. All right, so I salt and peppered them. They're looking good. They can get brown, it's no big deal. They're not getting hard. 
but I think I will turn this down. Get whatever water's left out without actually really crisping these up. Okay. I just don't want a watery casserole. So I turned that almost low, not quite, and I'm just going to let it slowly cook out. Okay, so, hold on. The water's out, what you see is just the oil left. I'm going to lay this in here. Now, I probably have too big of a pan. Oh well. Oh, all that salt and pepper is making my nose round. And I think I'm getting a cold anyway. Could I put this on paper towel? Probably. Come on. Even that out. As you can tell, it's sunny out, so it's not even close to dinner. I'm doing this during my lunch. So that's that. Stay. Well, forget it. Now I pour this over it. My nose. Now there's a topping, meaning you can do the panko breadcrumbs you, with the butter and then sprinkle cheese. You can do Ritz crackers, whatever you want. But I have crumbs of potato chips. I'm going to use those. I'm using my finger. This is for my family. Oh, I gotta blow my nose. And I'm gonna sprinkle the leftover crumbs. I also like that part. Now to cook this, it has to go in a 350 oven. you back at that time okay so it'll be a while because it's lunchtime all right so let me show you oh it really looks good let me get a spoon I can scoop some out Give me one second we got some baked potato Russ is bringing in a steak oh that looks great I can't wait I can't wait. If you've made something like this, please let me know. And like if yours was a little different or anything like that, let me know and we can share. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye.